Kurt. Today we're talking about diving in. Let's play a game. <laughs> It doesn't matter how strong of a swimmer you are. When you go scuba diving or out on a boat, you have to wear one of these, a life jacket. Because if you get thrown into those waters, sometimes they're so rough that it'll send you flailing around and you need this to keep you at the surface. Did you know that memorizing scripture is a lot like that? Sometimes we are tempted we want to do the wrong thing or sometimes we just don't know what the right thing is it's kind of like flailing around in the water well, memorizing scripture will help keep us at the surface did you know that even jesus used scripture to fight temptation he did and we're going to find out more about that right now stories of the bible the temptation of jesus this is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. Oh, my God, how many products are going to be? Oh, what's up with the sheep? For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, 
Hey! If you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, if you are the son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. Now. And so Jesus passed the second test. <laughs> So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. When we memorize scripture, it's like keeping it away in our heart. And when we feel tempted to do what's wrong, or like I said before, when we're not even sure what to do, we can pull it out and it will help us. It is so important, you guys, that we know God's word and that we have it memorized. That doesn't mean you have to memorize the whole Bible, of course, but you need to learn scripture so that you can fight temptation. Thank you so much for joining us today. And don't forget, it's so important to memorize scripture. We'll see you next week as we continue to dive in.